Can I say hi? Oh, it smells oh, good. Casey, Casey said hi to her. Oh, I'll tell her hello. I got my I got my outfits laid out for the lip sync in a little while. Yeah, what you lip syncing tonight? Uh, I'm doing uh, "Hit Me Baby" one more time, and yeah. then I think what's it called? Let's Groove by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, Turns off of the Water Boy. I like it a lot. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dress up like Batman and then rip Can you it. Hear me? Yeah. Oh, what? She, she uh, hit me, baby, one more time. It's one of the first times we ever met each other. Not, I mean, we didn't really meet. I guess it's just first time we our paths ever crossed. I was a uh, manager at the karaoke bar she was in, and she came in to what the fuck. Tampa just fumbled a punt into the end zone, and they just recovered for a touchdown. Damn. The guy, like, recovered it, or he fielded it at, like, the 15, and then fumbled all the way back into the end zone. Anyways, uh, yeah, so she she was in a karaoke contest that was being held at the bar I was at, and I was the manager there, and I was like, hey, I want to see this girl sing Baby Hit Me One More Time. And Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> well, progress has stopped for sure. This poor progress was stopped. I don't know what the hell they were calling it. But, but uh, she lost the contest. Oh. That sounds stupid. <laughs> Fucking robot. <laughs> you heard what she said. Yeah, that's funny. I remember the first time I heard, well, when the, the first time I had a girl uh, do some things to me was. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you look around. <laughs> yeah. Listen, listen to that song. I, I love that song, and I remember I was trying to show off. We were it was in the summertime, and uh, our friend's family had like a little swimming pool. We we're all over there, and you know, like the hot chick in middle school. Everyone's like, "Oh shit!" You know, I was trying to impress her. And this song was playing, and I was trying to show off, like jumping off the roof of the house into the pool. And I was doing that, and I missed, and like landed on my hip on the diving board, dude. Like sliced open the side of my hip, but I played it off like it was no big deal. Like, oh, it's not bad. I couldn't walk for like a week. It like totally bruised the side of my hip, but I was playing off like I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Did you see that there was on the news? This guy was trying to impress his girl from jumping from one building to another, oh, and he got caught between the buildings. And the fire department had to come in and rip the wall out of the building to get him out. That was like a week and a half ago, dude. Dude, I did not see that. That's yeah, yeah, this guy was trying to impress a chick, and he wanted to jump from building to building. I'm. I can't be. I can't make fun of him. I've done some stupid shit trying to impress impress girls. Yeah, like pretend like you can play guitar. I didn't do that because I don't even <laughs> pretend guitar. <laughs> Yeah. That's what my wife. That's what my wife says to me all the time. Because I I play I dabble. Yeah. The, she, she hates that I say that, but I dabble in the guitar, and she said that's how I won her over. And I don't really I don't really play the guitar. Liar! I can if I was like you know play a couple two notes maybe. Whatever. I I put I rocked the jazz sax. That's how I got oh, them in middle school. Nice. Like Penny G for him, woo the, the sixth grade girls. Yeah. Is that the long jet, uh, sax? Mm hmm. Yeah, I played a saxophone in nice. high school. Nice. I started with the jazz sax and then moved into, uh, what is it? Fuck. Because the jazz sax is the one that goes, probably the one you played too. And I started the one with the bell that came up, but then the one that Kenny G plays is like the. Symphony sax, or the, but the straight one, or whatever. Right, right. I can't remember. It was like 11, 12 years old, but. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I always knew yeah, it was yeah. funny. And I, my, when I started playing that and was doing band, my mom got me like Kenny G greatest hits. And I would seriously be like playing in the mirror, like trying to replicate him, like go around. <laughs> you know? And I'd do that in band practice, so, like to the chicks. I'd be like, <laughs> like all up on my music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pimping. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm pimping. I was like, these other eleven-year-old boys might think girls are icky, but I know what I like. All right, right. So I work my magic. Yeah. Fraud. Yeah. See, she calls me a fraud because I don't play guitar anymore. She's like, just play it a little bit. Just play it a little bit. 
<laughs> you should do guitar syncing. You should play like a guitar song, but move your fingers so it looks like you're playing. But really, it's the mute. Like what I do with my lip syncs and see if you can trick her. I've been practicing, babe. But sit like 25 feet away from me. You can't. Yeah, my, <laughs> my like the uh, the person would start singing. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you're like, <laughs> Whoop. yeah, yeah. No, this is a recorded call. We should probably talk about business. Oh, I didn't. Oh, did I record it? Sure. I think you pushed record when you started walking up the stairs. I think it popped uh -huh. on there. <laughs> I was just like, I thought we were just talking, me and boy. Well, I, I, I was gonna, I figured I was gonna record this call. But I don't even remember pressing the record button. Whatever. These kids. I can't believe you have four, man. Like forever, I thought like when we first started talking, like oh, I thought he had two girls. And you're like, oh no, I, I you said four, but then I thought it was three, and then I saw four. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a player. I just crush them. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It makes you stronger. Whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. My God, you're going to be a strong man. Whatever, man. I fucking saw the gray hairs now. These kids. It's true. It's true. That my mom blames us for all her gray gray hair. Oh, yeah. I, I, I didn't have any grays before I had all these kids. Yeah. And, they're, and a couple of them are teenagers now, right? Yeah, I got a 14 year old who just started freshman year in high school. Fuck. All right. Do you have your guns ready for the boys? I just I don't don't have any guns. Never believed in them to have them. You can just use these guns. That's right. Oh, that look queer. That look queer. <laughs> well, sometimes words are more powerful. You can. What did I read? I always hear those things about the dads talking about their daughters when boys come over, or whatever. And like one of the best ones. I heard was like, oh, this is my dad. And like, oh, nice to meet you. And he's like, just going to let you know, I have no problem whatsoever going back to prison, just so you know. Like, right. like oh, ha, ha. no, I'm serious. I will go. I back. just got out of prison. Shit. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's my old lady over there. She's making meth, methamphetamines in the kitchen right next to the, to the turkey burger. So you choose what you want, you know. But yeah. I will go back to jail, protect my daughter. So don't you try anything. <laughs> Dude, I would totally, I would totally fly to Florida for you to pull. I would be Will Smith to your Martin Lawrence. From oh, dude, exactly. I, I watched that just the other day. Yeah, was dude, like, it kills me every time. Like I would. Oh, you shit! You at least thirty-five. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh God! Yeah, yeah I would totally funny. do that. I guy just ran for a touchdown, fucking seventy yard touchdown. Who are they who are they playing? Washington Redskins. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. They might be good this year. Bucks might be good too. We'll see. Yeah, you can't really tell with this fourth season. I mean, this fourth game right here, ain't nobody fucking gonna make the team. Yeah. We could we should be able to play. They should let us get on the field for a couple snaps. <laughs> <laughs> like we got nothing to lose. Just let us play. Right, but these guys are playing for their lives. I don't know if I yeah. want to be on the field with those guys. Yeah, they'll kill you to try to make a roster. Right. Exactly. They're trying to make that roster like crazy. What do you think, uh, Tim Debo trying to be a baseball player? Oh, dude. I think I think uh, one of the baseball players summed it up better, the best and said, yeah, you know what? I think I might go dust my cleats off and go try out for the NFL, even though I haven't played since high school. You know what I mean? And basically, he's just saying that Tebow is making a mockery of baseball. Yeah. You, know, you haven't played baseball since high school, and you think you can come in and just play this sport that we have worked our whole lives to get here. Or we're yeah. at. You know, he may beat Michael, Michael Jordan. Come out there and – I mean, he went one for five or something in his debut, you know, trying to make the team. Yeah. And that was just a pitcher in a batting cage. You know what I mean? Throwing, and he went one for five. You know his his delivery from the outfield. It looks just like as if he was throwing a football. It's so awkward watching him throw. Yeah, he cannot throw a fucking somebody. Somebody said a couple years ago when he was still trying to make the NFL as a quarterback. They were like, you know what? Like, I'm not trying to be mean, but maybe he should try learning to throw right-handed. <laughs> like, <laughs> he might have a better shot. Right. It's just because his mechanics look so bad as a left-hander. Yeah. I mean. 
I, and there's left-handed court. Michael Vick looks like mm-hmm. a fucking beast when he throws the ball. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But fucking Tebow looks like just a girl, I guess. It's the you best way like to say what it. I look like when I try to throw left-handed. Like, it just... Comes out so awkward, right? Yeah. It's just bad. Yeah. It comes out so awkward. His yeah. mechanics are just horrible. I feel bad for, like, the up-and-coming younger players and, like, maybe career minor leaguers, too, because... Like they're saying, like, would Tebow have gotten all this press if he wasn't Tebow? Just some. Right, that's the point I'm trying dude. to make. Right. I haven't played baseball in 11 years. Give me a trial. They'd be like, uh, no. Like, not going to happen. But he's Tebow. So you got every scout and team fucking look at him. And That's my point. That's what the guy, baseball guy, was trying to say. We're doing this our whole lives. You come in here and just fucking, oh, I can, I can play baseball. Like, fuck you. Yeah. That's like, I mean, I don't know if they do it in – I mean, sure they do it in every sport, and it's something I've thrown around, but I'd have to practice. But it's one thing to get, like, an open tryout like that, but it's another thing to go up to – go to, like, a minor league tryout like everyone else is trying to do. Like, show up and really see – because they do it for hockey. I'm sure they do it for football and stuff too. But I thought about trying to practice, like, as, like, a 30th birthday type of thing and going to, like, a lower-level minor hockey league, even though I haven't played competitively in about fucking 11 years. And just trying out with everyone else and just what I still have. Where you're at, just, right, where you're at. Just be like, I'm 30, fuck it, I'm going to do like a bucket list thing. But not go, hey, I haven't played in 11 years. Why doesn't every NHL team come watch me skate? Right, like right, that. NHL team. <laughs> fuck yeah. the minors. I'm going straight to NHL. Yeah, like that's just fucking stupid, you know. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, and the only reason, like you said, he's getting any hype whatsoever is because he's Tim Tebow. Yep. You know, uh, fuck baseball. You just should have been a tight end. Yeah. Change your position, become a tight end, and play fucking football. Yeah. He would have got, got picked up. Yeah, because if, yeah, if right now, if he was like, I'm playing tight end, I guarantee you half NFL team is a bad dude. Come, come open. Come try out. Right. Come try out. You know, you want to play quarterback? No. Yeah. You want to try tight end? Yeah, sure. Come try tight end. Six three two fifty five. Like, dude, that's a you're tight end, bro. You can't throw a fucking football, but you you solid muscle and you can run pretty fast. So right, and you can run pretty fast, right? And the the thing is, is you've actually gained so much muscle now you're slow. Yeah, exactly. You know, what I mean, that's the problem. He, he's too slow now. He, oh, I'm a pocket passer. <laughs> you're not a passer, period, bro. Passer, yeah, yeah. Get that out of your vocabulary, bro. Yeah, dude. After uh, the Vikings went down, I put it on my Facebook just. I just don't want Sanchez. Don't give us fucking Sanchez. He's that guy is garbage too. too. He's horrible. You might get Kaepernick if they somehow squeeze that deal out. I wouldn't want him either, man. He's got enough fucking publicity right now going over this fucking not standing for the national Kaepernick game. or Sanchez? Which one would you rather have? I'd rather have Cardell Jones, fucking third string backup for Buffalo. That's a good answer to you. I mean, that guy's a rookie out of Ohio State, fucking six foot six. 250, huge motherfucker. And he looked great in preseason. Yeah. And he can yeah. run pretty good. He's huge. Oh, yeah. He, he can run he really did, well. Yeah. He destroyed the Oregon Ducks, the national championship, with fucking Ezekiel Elliott. That was a shit show. Well, I know, but imagine having Adrian Peterson in your back there. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, you'd have, like, you'd have like two APs, one just a little bit bigger and taller, and then he just happens to throw a pass every now and then. <laughs> right. But, he, I mean, he's got he, – he's raw. I, I like him. I, I, like I said, I watched him in preseason, and he, he played really well. You know, I, I was like, I would take a chance on a third-string fucking quarterback like him before I went and got fucking – quick if I can find him. Who? Come here. I don't know if you can see, but I, my buddy that I went to his house this weekend for his birthday, he's a big Vikings fan too. And um, I think like six years ago, no, it was probably about nine years ago. Holy shit. Uh, my buddy is a big Nike shoe collector, and he sold me some Bo Jackson, Adrian Peterson replica Nike Minnesota Viking Air One trainers. And they're like a limited, there's only like 115 pairs in the world. The Bo knows. Yeah, Bo knows, and then like AD knows is on the other side, and they're fucking super light, super awesome. And I, 
I've only worn them like twice, but um, I don't think I'll ever get rid of them because you can't fucking find them anymore. But they're sweet shoes. That's awesome. You know. Yeah, dude. It fucking. Oh, fucking. It's my fucking jersey, dude. Yeah. Fucking garbage, bro. <laughs> sucks. Fucking sucks. Teddy. Yeah. That's going to put more pressure on AP to have another killer. Yeah, we might as well put fucking Christian Ponder back on the field, man. That yeah. guy's fucking garbage. I mean, I can see him go and get EJ Manuel. Hey, we already tried Christian Ponder. Let's try fucking EJ Manuel. They fucking split time in Florida State. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do, but that that sucks. That sucks. The worst thing is, is that they got a shitty ass GM, so they're probably gonna end up doing something fucking stupid, like get Sanchez. <laughs> seriously, that's what the worst thing is gonna happen. Is that he just fucking the GM just sucks, dude. I could do a better job than that guy. Like I said, I would call Buffalo up and be like, dude, let's talk fucking Cardell. He's third string. He's sitting behind fucking two players. You don't need him. I'll give yeah. you a fucking. Third round draft pick. Third round. That's fucking good shit. Yeah. You pick him up in like the fucking fifth. Okay. Boom. I got a franchise quarterback. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're gonna, find, they're gonna find somebody. Well, who's okay? Sean Hill is the backup, so he's backup. he's thirty seven years old. Yeah. But who else do they have on the roster? Uh, they got this guy Stedman that they just picked up too. But uh, but two like two nobodies behind them. Yeah, and I, I, I mean, I said, dude, worst case scenario, call fucking Brett Favre. <laughs> 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 Brett, I know you just got your gold jacket, bro, but we need you. <laughs> you never send in the private jet. I wouldn't put it past him to be like, well, I'll give it a whirl. You know, I've been doing Levi's commercials, and I still throw the ball pretty good. So he said that his arm is still he could throw, but his body just wouldn't hold up. Yeah, you no, know? I was watching. I don't think it was a commercial. I think he was like at a high school just doing like a clinic or whatever, but that's exactly what he said. He can't really move at all anymore, but his arm was still fucking ripping those things, man. Right. I'm like, right. I'm like hey, I don't need you to move, you know? Just sit in the pocket. Yeah. These other fucking bozos can't do shit either. They're talking about Josh McCown from fucking Cleveland. That guy fucking garbage. garbage. Yeah. They're just, dude, everybody who's out there that they're talking about is just fucking garbage, man. Yeah, well, it happened at the worst time. You're a week before the, the season right. you're fucked. And the people are just trying to dump shit quarterbacks. Yeah. Oh, we got Kaepernick. Oh, he won't stand for the national anthem, and he's going to take all the publicity away from the actual football team. Yeah. Because everybody wants to know, what do you think about Kaepernick? What do you think about Kaepernick? Yeah. I just want to fucking play football. I don't want to fucking talk about Kaepernick. Yeah. But somebody posted on Facebook yesterday that uh, they're like, you know, it's they don't stand for people not standing for the national anthem, but rapists and murderers and dog fighters. Oh yeah, they're okay. <laughs> you know, yeah, they, we're, we're, we're okay with that. But you don't stand for the national anthem. Oh shit, the whole fucking league is on you. Yeah, it's our world. U- U.S. is fucked up. We've got some stupid, stupid fucking priorities. You know, like. Just people trying to look for something to do. Yep, exactly. Cause us for a story, then right. get apart, and well, it's, the, it's the fucking it's the media, man. Mm-hmm. The media it's is media. the worst. Right, they're just feeding it like something fierce, and it's like, who the fuck cares? You don't want to stand? Who cares? Yeah, the world would be a much better place if the media sought out positive, uplifting fucking stories. Like everyone's life would change, but that's what you get fed every day is. Negative that shooting, gang rape, cop, murder, stealing, robbery, death, fucking, and that's what everyone believes and is used to, you know, like us. Like, hey, I have a good life and I'm healthy, and everyone's like, oh, fuck you, man, you fucking weirdo. Like, what? You're so different. Yeah. Like, oh, I actually like myself and enjoy my life and I'm healthy? Yeah, that sucks. Bad. Scared to go outside of my house because I'm afraid somebody's gonna kill me with an axe or something. It's just, <laughs> yeah, it is, seriously, people are just like, Oh my god, have you seen it in the news? No, I'm sorry, I don't watch the news. Yeah, you know, I'm at work and I have control over six TVs at work, and every one of them, none of them on the news. Yeah, and before I was on Beach Body, dude, I would have fucking like three different news channels up. I really did. 
Yeah. You know, and now I don't have a single one. I'll have a customer come in one time. He's, hey, uh, can we uh, put the news on this? And I'm, no, you know, I'll, I'll change it for him, obviously, because I have to. But as soon as he leaves, I'll turn that shit off. Nobody cares about fucking the election coming up. Everyone hates the fucking candidates. You know what I mean? It's just fucking, it's ridiculous. It's, the election is, that's going to suck. <laughs> yep. You know? Nobody yeah. even likes anybody. Like I always say, like, that's why it is, politics are just, just as bad as fucking religion. But, I mean, it's like, what do you, what do you, would you rather have? You want me to cut off your, your left leg or your right leg? Like, they both fucking suck. That's pretty much the equivalent. Like, n- n- either one, you're like, I feel good about my right leg getting taken off. I can live with it. No. Like, I don't want to lose either leg. But that's pretty much what it is. It should, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, this <laughs> is the absolute worst freaking election ever. Yeah. It's bad. What are you going to do? Do you is what you got to do. And- <laughs> <laughs> you don't even think about it. Yeah. Nobody vote and we won't have it. We'll just leave Brock there for another couple of years until somebody else comes along that we can say, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, I mean, the last election wasn't this bad. I mean, even with Brock, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, I don't like Obama or whatever. It's like, would you rather Trump? Would you rather Hillary? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he, Obama ain't looking too bad anymore, is he? Yeah. He probably paid a lot of money to get these two candidates so that everyone would be like, well, Obama, not so bad now. (laughs) Can we uh, make a new amendment that the president could stay another four years? Yeah, until you oh, find somebody else. Right, oh, fucking George Bush come out of fucking retirement. Oh, I get four more years? Shit. Yeah. Clinton, yeah. hey, I'll take four more. Shit. Yeah. Can I pick my secretary? I, I miss that. <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. Yeah. Country's going to hell in a handbag. Pretty much. We just got to work so we can get out of it and do whatever we want to do. Exactly. You don't have to worry about it. Control your own destiny. Yeah. New month, man. New month coming up. Health bet coming up. Um, like I said, I hope a lot of people just fall off and I get a share of that pie. It just gets bigger and bigger. Yep. I'm sure it'll end up being like 15 cents or some shit. Yeah, that'd be so... People would be... I wouldn't care too much because, I mean, we're coaching, we're making money. Right, right. I mean, I would still like to get money, but... If challenges like oh, I'm expected like five hundred bucks or whatever the hell they think, and it's like twenty five cents, they're gonna be like, "What the fuck?" You told me I was gonna be making money. I made fucking a quarter. I spent one hundred and forty dollars on this thing, and I got a quarter back. Like yeah, but I didn't lie. You got money. You got twenty five cents. So. You, you got results, and that yeah. Right? Is right? Is that you? yeah, yeah. That backlash is gonna come back though. Yeah, they might have to like see how many people are in there and then like secretly put more money in the pot. So like, because they crunch the numbers and like, oh, you got like a um, five hundred thousand people in the app, and that's gonna be a dollar twenty-two per per. We need to throw some more money in the pot so people. Right, don't- they end up only having like what a million five or something. I think it's like a million five. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, not good. Mm-mm. Yeah, I just got to roll the last four months of the year, last quarter of the year. Got to fucking finish it off strong. I'm still going for the new leadership mm-hmm. conference. I got to get another. I fig- I didn't know this, too. I guess I should have researched it. But to get to two-star diamond, you have to have a diamond on your left leg and a diamond on your right to equal it out. And I was like, fuck, I thought you could have it either because all my strong coaches on my left, well, I got to find somebody from my fucking shit show of coaches to get to diamond by December for the New Year's conference. But after that, it can be a mix. You can have three and one, whatever. Gotcha. Um, but to get to two star, I was like, fuck, this is going to be crazy hard. hard to do. Because like, hey, I need you to work the fucking business. Can you do that? That'd be great. Yeah, they said Casey, she's a ruby, but she, she's actually like, I guess they said they only needed one of her coaches on her other leg to re- uh, to go active again because they were unactive or whatever, and uh, she would be diamond. It's like, damn, 
<laughs> start talking to all your old coaches, you know, trying mm-hmm. to get them to come back home. But you want to sustain diamond, you know what I mean? You don't want to just pop diamond just to drop back now. Yeah. It's it's crazy. It's it's sad to say, but you can't trust anybody ever. Like that's why you have to keep recruiting and and building because you could have Felipe who's a f- almost diamond, he's fucking killing it, and then he uh goes through a breakup with his high school girlfriend he's been dating for a year and he quits because he can't do it anymore. Like, Dude, what? The- my motivation is gone. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, okay. You have a hangnail, so you can't do burpees anymore, so you quit. Like, what the hell? You listen to what you're saying? Like, yeah, it's just people like, like Gary says, you're building a business. If you're gonna fucking quit after a year, you know what I mean? It's fucking garbage, man. Yeah. You're, you're gonna. You have to be here. You have to be here. Yep, exactly. I've, every morning and every afternoon, every night, it's Gary V all the fucking time. Real talk, because I relate to his shit so much. So I'm like, oh, dude, I'm telling you, man, I hate that he's on vacation right now because yeah. he's got no new content. So I'm just looking at his old shit. Yeah, exactly. He tells it how it is, and a lot of people, you know, it's like a love hate. Like a lot of people do love him, but a lot of people don't because he's on it. No one wants to hear the truth people want to be babied and that's what's wrong with the world like you're doing so great you're you're working two hours a week on your business is it'll get you there like no it's not gonna fucking get you there like you need to fucking work harder and stop making excuses and blaming your mom and blaming your fucking people at work and it's you you need to do you yeah and it was so funny that guy from the guys group, dude. I seriously thought you were Gary Vee. <laughs> yeah. I was like, nope, I'm not him. <laughs> like, but thank you. Yeah, there were people in uh, in our other coaches group who say that all the time. You're like a a Gary in our group because you're so motivational and stuff like that. Like they wanted me to lead a team call. And I was like, you guys don't even fucking want to hear what I have to say. I'm going to tell every one of you as it is. Exactly. Yep. It's funny, like, when you do tell people that, like, you can just see their eyes and they're like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. Like, my post the other day, like, talking about how hard I had to work for the first five months last year to quit my job. And people are like, that's what you did? I'm like, fuck, yeah, that's what I did every fucking day. Like, does that sound like a lot of work? Yeah. But it it was five months. Like that's a long time, but it's also not a long time. Like, right, right. Five months when, you, like, when you're building a business, yeah. When you're building a business, five months is like change. Yeah. You know, change for a dollar type shit. I mean, yeah, like, would you be willing to sacrifice that for five months to own your own business? And if you say yeah, then do the fucking work. If you say no, then don't bitch and complain about your situation because. I hated it and I complained for a long time and was negative and I finally got fed up with it, you know? And um, That's why it's awesome going back on my Facebook, like even like two years ago and seeing the shit I posted, like fuck work, I have to work another double today, like get home and get drunk or fuck my manager. I'm like, dang, you know, yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm struggling with is credibility. You know, I'm like, everyone's like, Everyone can look back at my Facebook only a year and a half ago and say, you know, this is the life you were living a year and a half ago, you know, which is why, you know, Amy on the, on the team call the other day, it's going to take three years minimum, three years of fucking doing this business minimum before people start saying, okay, he's probably not doing anything else. But I mean, I have people at work now. It's like, you know, I was going to ask you if you wanted something, but I already know you're a health guy. So I'm not going to even ask if you wanted to donate. You know, it's like, yeah. And then somebody was like, hey, where's Felipe at? He's probably out back working out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, it's just shit like that. And that's fine. I'm okay with that, you know, image that people have of me. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's what I'm doing. I'm not, I don't need a fucking donut. I'm not going to, you know, you're going to ask me and I'm going to say no like I do every fucking time for the last year and a half. You know, and I tell them, you know, you want to put fucking, you know, shit gasoline in a Porsche? No. You know? Yep. I'm not going to do it. Exactly. But, dude, it's been good hanging out with you, bro. Yep. It's time to time to eat and then shower and then get ready to make a fool of myself on Facebook. Have fun with that. Take it easy, partner. Take it.